Introducing the all new Corolla. It was a startling development in the months long saga of any Fali Mavanga's visible absence from normal everyday hearings, meetings, and floor proceedings. But suddenly, after a spate of press releases purporting normalcy, there was the congressman giving a routine start of session floor speech. Madam Speaker, I rise today to congratulate Governor Lola Molina and the people of American Samoa. For the next week, we will be celebrating 114 years for the commemoration of the raising of the American flag on April 17, 1900. Falia Mavanga looked thinner and older and appeared to walk slower than before his illness, but still looked strong, needed no assistance to reach the lectern, and showed no obvious speech impairment after an apparent stroke last October. Madam Speaker, it was this historic occasion when our Samoan traditional leaders had the foresight to sign the Treaty of Session with the representatives of the United States. Leading to a bond and relations that the congressman said are stronger than ever. Falia Mavanga then paid tribute to American Samoa's sons and daughters in uniform. As we celebrate this year, we must reflect on the sacrifices that are made, that were made by our sons and daughters, past and present, who served honorably and valiantly in our nation's military forces. Our Samoan sons and daughters have been an important part of our military forces, both here and throughout the world. Falia Mavanga's office issued a release March 4th thanking all those who helped and prayed for him during his illness and rehabilitation, and said he'd resumed limited office hours while continuing to rehab. But his absence from recent key meetings of the Natural Resources and Foreign Affairs Committees on which he has seniority raised questions about the seriousness of his condition, questions his office has refused to address. His reappearance answers some of those, but still leaves unanswered Falia Mavanga's ability to resume his full duties and the extent of rehabilitation still needed. On Capitol Hill, Matt Kay for PNC News.